This is uh, <coughs> could be a face with the eyes and the teeth there. It's not finished. But uh, if you look up close, there's the typical thing thingaroonie right there. Uh, then there are flowers. And then there are the eyes. Those are, see when one goes out of the way? You can never see more than two at a time, so they're eyes. Let's see. Those are teeth. So, there's that element. And then there is, oh, and down here I was going to put, uh, I don't know, I guess I was going to put um, checkers to symbolize the game, you know, of this, you know, of whatever's going on here. Anyway, so um, this is a China paint pen that I made out of, uh, you can just see it just works really good. I'm looking at the camera instead of what I'm painting. I can wipe that off, so that's why I don't care. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I'll show you how to make a china paint pen like this. Hmm, this thing doesn't focus very well. Anyway, this is a china paint pen. I keep it in the water. And you can leave it in there for, like, like days. You can leave it in there forever until the water dries up. And, you know, you can just take it out out of the water. Blot the water off the end and it goes right back to work. You can leave it in there for days, so that's one thing that takes the tediousness out of China painting. <clears throat> so I'll show you how to make it. This is the front of a mechanical pencil. I don't know if you can see light through there with the camera. Yeah, you see? There's a pinhole in there. It's the front of a mechanical pencil. And I took the front from a mechanical pencil and I connected it to the front of a big pen, which is the same thing as this right here. You take this and this, and you hold them next to each other. The only difference is I cut off that little burr that was right on this one, because this little burr was preventing this mechanical pencil top from screwing on this. See, you can screw the mechanical pencil on to the tip of the big pen after you take this little metal part out. Right? So if you take this, take the pen apart, then you take this tip, metal tip off, you pull this ink out, you wash the whole thing out, and cut off the little burr. There's a burr right there. Or whatever you have to do. Anyway, so then there's a hole in, and you come out with something like this. This is just that. And, um, so there you go. And if you can see light through there, there should be a pinhole of light. Yes, there is. There is, so that's a china paint pen. And so you fill that up. That is a lot, too. That is quite a lot of china paint. If you fill that up, that would take, you know, I only put four or five drops in, in it at a time, and it will do like a whole pot. Like all the lines, not the brush strokes, but it will do like all the thin lines all the way around it, any kind of striping. And, you know, this a little goes a long way with the china paint. So you go there, you do that, you drip that in, you drip the paint in right in there, and uh, that's it. And then you can put the pen, put the end of the pen back on. And then, so then there you have a china paint pen, which is full of china paint. And you have to remember not to hold it this way too long or it'll all drip out the back. But you go like that. And, okay, so what you do is, in order to clean the hole, the tip is just a little pinhole. In order to keep that clean, you need a guitar string or the wire from a twisty tie. <clears throat> like the kind of thing that you use to, you know, like the vegetables and the, like that closes a bread bag or something, just a twisty tie wire. Anyway, so you use that. 
And so you can take them and put them in like that. And then, as you see, this red one was in there, right? It's been in there actually for days. So like that. Uh oh. There's a lot of water in there. Anyway, it just works right out of the box. Just like that. Uh oh. Oops. It's leaking a little too much. Oh well. Anyway, you don't have to wash that off. So, that's it. That's how you make China paint pen. And, uh, you know, I'm going for right here, I'm going for the classic, uh, the Greek Dionysian pot because it always has uh, the eyes. It's a wine pot or a liquor pot, and it would have pictures of what kind of herbs may be in with a liquor. And it has you know, a little information about what's happening all over. I'm going to put feathers up here and a checkerboard around the bottom and a couple more things and it should be done. So, that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think that would be a, uh, what, called a neck, a foot amphora. Called a foot amphora. Okay. That's it for now.